Hi everyone, welcome back to my class. This is Ruman Ali. I hope you all are doing well. In today's class, let us start a lesson plant parts and function. There are some variations that can be seen in the different plants in their size, color or in their shapes. But basically, the different parts that are found in all the plants, they are stem, roots and leaves. So these are the parts that can be found basically in almost all the plants. So let us discuss about the roots first. Roots are the parts of the plant that are present or that are found under the ground and these roots are basically classified into two main types based on their structure and they are called as taproot and fibrous root. So the root system is classified into two main types based on the structure of the roots. They are taproot system and fibrous root system. In the taproot system, we can find a thick root which is present in the middle as the base. And from the sides, we can find the small and thin thread like branches. So the main basic stem which is present, thick one is called as taproot. And the roots which are arising from its sides, they are called as lateral roots. So this is how the taproot system is seen in some of the plants. Whereas in fibrous root system, we can find thin hair like structures. The roots looks like hairs and they are very thin and they do not arise from any main thick stem. So this type of system is called as fibrous root system and these roots are also called as adventitious roots. So this is how the roots are of two types, tap roots and adventitious roots. Now we'll discuss some of the functions of the roots. So the functions include the first one is roots are the structures that help the plant to fix tightly into the soil. Makes the plant fixes into the soil so that it can stand erect on the ground. And very important function of the root is absorption of water and minerals. You might have seen your elders or the farmers they pour the water into the soil. They give the water specially to the roots of the plants. So why they are pouring the soil into the roots or why they are giving the water only to the roots, why they are not pouring the water on the leaves? Because the roots are the parts that helps in the absorption of water and minerals that is present in the soil. So when we pour water into the soil, the water and the minerals which are present in the soil, they get absorbed by the roots. So in this way, absorption can also be done with the help of plant part called root. Let us do an activity to understand how the roots helps in the process of absorption. So we are taking two tumblers. In both the tumbler, we will pour water. In one of the tumbler, we will add color. And in both these tumblers, take some roots of a plant. In this way, we will be taking a part of a plant that bears roots also. Now, put these two tumblers aside for few hours. After few hours, we can clearly observe that the roots absorb these colored water and it also becomes colored one. In this way, we can clearly conclude that absorption of the water and the minerals can be done by the roots. Roots are the only parts that helps the plants to absorb the water and also to absorb the different minerals that are present in the soil. Some plants like carrot, radish and beetroot, <coughs> they store the food material in the roots and due to the storage of the food material in the roots, the roots bulges out. So these bulged roots are called as tuberous root. These roots can be used by us as a food material. So this is about the roots. Now let us discuss about the another important part of the plant that are leaves. In our surrounding there are many plants that are present and these plants bear different types of leaves. When you see the structure of a leaf, the main base of the leaf 
is called as lamina and one stalk like structure is present this stalk like structure attaches the leaves to the stem so this stalk like structure of the leaf is called as petiole and in the lamina we can find one long vein in the middle this long and middle vein is called as midrib and we can find some thin veins are present in the lamina of the leaf and these thin divisions are called as veins that are present on the leaf so this is about the structure of a leaf when you see the different plants you can find the arrangement of these veins in a different manner so let us talk about the venation first venation is nothing but arrangement of veins on the leaf surface so the plants that shows the tap root system they show the reticulate venation and the plants that are present with fibrous root system they will show parallel venation so just before i told you that venation is nothing but arrangement of the veins on the leaf surface if the leaf bears the veins in a web like manner then this type of venation is called as reticulate venation but if the veins are arranged parallelly then this type of vein arrangement on the leaf is called as parallel venation generally parallel venation can be seen in uh, rice plants and wheat uh, and the maize plant these plants shows the parallel venation because on uh, the leaves of these plants we can find the veins that are arranged parallelly so in this way we will be having two kinds of leaves based on the venation one which shows reticulate venation and the other one which shows parallel venation now let us talk about the functions of leaf so before we learn the functions of leaf first we'll observe the stomata of the leaf stomata is a structure it is a bean shaped structure that is found on the outer surface of the leaf how the nose is present on on our face likewise the stomata are the pores that are present on the surface of the leaf and these pores are helping in carrying out many different processes which we will discuss later but first we'll see the stomata under the microscope to see the stomata under the microscope first we need to take a leaf now peel out the leaf and take that section on a slide pour some drops of water on it and cover it with a cover slip now this mount can be seen or it can be observed under the microscope so when you observe the slide under the microscope you can see the internal structure of leaf and in the internal structure of leaf in the lower epidermis you can find some bean like structures and these bean like structures or the tiny pores they are called as stomata the function of the stomata is exchange of gases the gases which are present in the atmosphere they can get into the leaf through the stomata and the gases which are present inside the leaf if they have to move out of the leaf then that gases will move out through these pores which are called as stomata so basically the stomata helps in the process of respiration not only in respiration but it also helps in the process of transpiration so what is the meaning of transpiration transpiration is a process through which the excess amount of the water can get lost or it can move out of the plant through the stomata that are present in the leaf if the water that is present inside the plant if it is increases if it is available in an excess amount then it has to move out so it will be coming out of the plant body through the structures called stomata and this process is called as transpiration and the water which comes out through the stomata they will be coming out in the form of water vapor now to understand the process of transpiration more clearly let us see one activity in this activity we will be taking one potted plant select one of the leaf of the spotted plant and cover this leaf or tied one polythene cover over this leaf leave that potted plant in the sunlight for few hours after few hours if you remove this polythene cover you can find 
the droplets water droplets will be found on the surface of the polythene cover in such a way we can estimate or we can conclude that the excess amount of the water can be released out in the form of water vapor through leaves especially through the stomata that are present in the structure of leaves so in this way the water gets releases out in the form of water vapor and this process is called as transpiration the next and the main function of the leaf is photosynthesis photosynthesis is preparation of food so leaves are the important parts of the plant that also helps in the process of photosynthesis that helps in preparation of food the plants can be able to prepare food only uh, if they bear leaves because in the leaves we can see the chloroplast which is the main structure that helps in the preparation of food so the leaves they use sunlight water and carbon dioxide to prepare their own food and that process is called as photosynthesis so in the functions of leaves we can write photosynthesis that means in preparing food it helps the plant it also helps the plant to get rid of excess of water that is nothing but transpiration and also in exchange of gases which is called as respiration so these are the important life processes that can takes place by the plant body with the help of its part called leaf so these are the different things about the plant part called leaf so which is a very important part in all the plants now we will discuss about stem so stem is a part of the plants that helps to carry the water from the roots to the different parts of the plant and stem is a part which bears the branches and these branches bears leaves flowers and fruit so in this way stem is the base of a plant that makes the plant to stand erect and that helps the plant to get water that has absorbed by the roots so in this way the main function of the stem is to carry the water from the roots to the different parts of the plant now let us do one activity to understand the role of a stem in this activity we will take one soft stemmed plant we will cut the stem into two pieces or we'll take two pieces of the stem now take two tumblers again in both of them pour some water and in both of these tumbler put one piece of stem and in one of the tumbler add red ink leave this arrangement for few hours after few hours take out that stem that has been soaked into these two tumblers and cut these stems into thin sections now take a thin section from the second tumbler so that we can get a colored diagram that can be observed under the microscope now take a thin section of a stem put it on a glass slide add one to two drops of water and cover it with the cover slip our slide is ready to observe under the microscope when we observe the slide under the microscope we can find some ring like structures these ring like structures act like tubes and they carry the water from the roots to the different parts of the plant in such a way transportation of water from the roots to the different parts of the plant can be done with the help of a part called stem besides stem flowers are also the important part flowers are very attractive they are colored one and the colored part of the flowers are called as petals as they are very colorful they attract some insects and insects as they uh, are attracted by the flowers they are helping in carrying out the process of pollination pollination is nothing but transfer of pollen grains to the stigma by transferring pollen grains of one flower to the stigma of another flower fruits can be produced so in this way pollination process can be done by the flowers so that the fruits can be produced we also grow the different kinds of plants that bears flowers so that it adds beauty to the nature in this way the plants are having the different parts and these different parts are of different structures and they play their specific roles so the different parts of the plant carry out the different 
functions and when we talk about stems one more point we need to remember here is some of the stems of plants like potato sugarcane and turmeric these are the stems that stores food in the uh, food in them due to the storage of food they bulges out and these type of stems are called as modified stem in this chapter we have discussed about the structure and functions of roots leaves and also about the stems and we have also discussed some of the points about flowers here the lesson ends i'll be back with a new lesson in the next session meet you in next class thank you